Hang on, because one, once it's up a little bit, it'll be easier. Okay. Okay. Ready? Ready? Ah. Oh, Go. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's just a fuel. It's just fuel. It is. Breathtaking scenery. So the road that we took runs down there, I can see a little piece, and rips out around this mountain and down the other side. One of the signs down there said that 10,000 years ago this place was completely covered in glaciers so where the road is right now, where I am right now the glacier will come all the way up here and to cover almost the summit of the mountains only the tallest peaks were out of the glacier from all the way to the bottom of the valley, isn't this incredible? Alright, so this is the weeping wall I remember this from when I came 17 years ago. Weeping wall, look at that. Here's another amazing scenic point. I'm pleased to see that there are a lot of bikes. I even saw another Africa Twin. There was um, a fly just got in my helmet and into my ear. That's what you just saw. I had to hit my helmet to get a fly out of the way. I have my visor down because the air feels so fresh. Is it not a little waterfall? Wow. And the tall mountain you see in front of us, that's where we're going. We're gonna be at the bottom of it.
Everybody said hi. All right, that was a little intense. Whew. These walls are very, very low. And when you're on a motorcycle, you're standing so high. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> um, if you are afraid of heights, this might not be the road for you. There's a ranger. There's no wind. Temperature is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I forgot what it's like in Celsius, like 26 maybe. Tonight I'm meeting with another friend, is joining Scott and I for uh, at the campsite. And my friend Alec is involved in uh, motorcycle racing. The road is not so steep anymore, so it's a sign that we're getting pretty close to, to the top of the pass. Wow. I will, uh, I will film this road again on the way down because the view behind me is just insane. Look at this guy, he's playing. <laughs> There are people from, actually let's stop right here, so we'll wait for my friend who's driving behind me and also I'll show you what the road looks behind. I was saying there's a lot of people here that have never seen snow before. So they get all excited when they come here and, uh, and they see all these snow packs in the middle of July. When I'm recording this, this is, there we go, this is July 20th. I can hear the water running. There's a waterfall down there. We got a little friend. Hi. Hello, chipmunk. Hi. I just need a little fun. He's trying to get closer to me. He's very curious. guys we are almost at the top of Logan Pass and 
and this is definitely the most beautiful pass I've been in so one of the passes that are this spectacular have you seen in your life where are they write it down in the comments below and feel free to post some links to photos so we can all see them there we go Logan Pass and Logan Pass Visitor Center that's new it wasn't like that when I came the first time that's a really nice visitor center and look at my luck Xterra is getting out of the way Top of Logan Pass in Glacier National Park, and uh, we just arrived at Hidden Lake. Dad, Dad. Dad. Wow, that was another wow moment. <laughs> I want to show you guys this beautiful little mountain pond with a mountain behind and you see the reflection. So reflection in photography is something that draws the eye because of the symmetry and uh, this is something you always want to look for look for little ponds look for some water even a bucket of water you will always find something interesting reflected in it It's been a very long day and after a long hike we deserve a good meal so I'm making some mashed potatoes and my friend Alec here made some steaks. Our friends here grow some steak and then we have uh, more stuff. We have some potato salad that we found on sale. We have more steaks for tomorrow. Yeah, this is gonna be a good dinner. 